Welcome to our lecture online. Are there any unusual or significant features on the surface of Mercury? And the answer is yes, there are a few. Even though, in a way, the surface is kind of mundane because the vast sea of craters seem to all look alike. But if you start looking very carefully, you do see some unusual things. When you see some of these larger impacts, notice you see these these spiderweb kind of structures that emanate away from those impacts, that's simply debris that's been blown away from the impact site and that makes these uh, scrapes, so to speak, as they get thrown and roll and push across the surface away from the impact, you'll see quite a few things like that across the, the surface of the planet. You see some more over here where you have the debris from the impact that kind of spreads itself around the craters. Sometimes you have impacts that happen at a very shallow angle and they will hit the planet in several places before they come to a stop making a series of craters in a row like that you see that but those are not the really big significant features that we're looking for they're actually two and all from the very same event a very long time ago probably very soon after the planet was formed a very large object impacted upon the planet and made a huge impact crater on one side that is called the Caloris Basin. It's about 1,500, no, 1,500 kilometers across, about 900 miles across. The shock waves that were caused by that impact went around the planet like huge earthquake waves. And when they reached the other side and they collided together, over there we see what we call a very uplifted region. This is where we find the tallest mountains on the planet Mercury. And we believe that that was caused by that huge impact. Other than that, you can see that there's the various enormous uh, range of craters. However, there are some very big craters when we start looking closely at some of the photographs that we've taken with the two spacecraft that visited the planet. It turns out that there are about 30 craters that are greater than 200 kilometers across. Of course, the very biggest one, 1,500 kilometers, forms a Caloris basis that has a huge impact region and is ringed by two kilometer large or tall crater walls. Matter of fact, I'm going to put this book back up with this particular picture because I wanted to give, have you look at this picture in a little bit more detail. I'm not sure if you can see that with the camera, but if you look here, you see large ring-like structures here, there, and another one over here. These are concentric rings. This region here is what we call the Caloris Basin region. And that's a, the result of that huge impact that probably happened well over 4 billion years ago. And we're going to obviously still see the remnants of that collision today. So that's, those are the concentric rings that are forming what we call the Caloris Basin. And it's very visible from space when you take pictures with spacecraft. Let's take a look at some of those huge craters. So we have about 30 of them that are 200 kilometers across or more, about half of them that are greater than 250 kilometers, which is 150 miles across. Any one of those events happening on the Earth today, if something the size that's 10, 15 miles across were to hit the Earth, it would probably cause the extinction of almost all life on Earth. So we're talking about huge impacts, and we've had about 30 of those on Mercury. Of course, there's no life to worry about, so this was just a big impact. But we've named them, about 400 or so are named, after famous writers and artists and so forth, and you might recognize some of these names. The largest, besides the Caloris Basin impact crater, is called the Rembrandt Crater. The next one is the Beethoven Crater, the Sinai Crater, the Dostoevsky Crater, the Shakespeare Crater, some of them are hard to pronounce, of course, Tolstoy, Raphael, Homer, Von Gut, Rachmaninoff, one of my favorite composers, Vyasa, Hafiz of Shiraz, Da Silva, Radat Ladi, Hayden, Mozart, and Vivaldi. I'm sure you recognize some of those names. But those are the largest of the craters on Mercury, and so those are named after very famous artists around the world, but they've gone on and named many, many more of them, a total of about 400. So you can make quite an assignment of trying to memorize those, although... I don't think I want to try that at all. But that's, what, that's uh, what we mean by there are not a lot of significant features on the planet. You would say two of them. One would be the Caloris Basin impact, and the other one would be the mountain region that was caused by that. If it wasn't for that one impact, 
The, sur the surface would even look more mundane. In other words, no significant mountain building anywhere on the planet except this one region where we've, we believe was the result of that impact that happened a very long time ago. And that's what we mean by the significant features on the surface of Mercury.